Hey guys. All right. So we're here. Um, I'm here talking with Israel and he's has some questions about his ads and what he's trying to figure out how to target it and how to make it look good and how to, how to really get people in through his Facebook ads. So um, if you can give me a quick recap, um, what are some of the questions that you had? And I'll give you some, a few quick tips. Oh, well, first of all, thank you. And I don't know if it's as much a question as an exclamation point. So help <laughs> exclamation point. Uh, you know, I, it, it can be really frustrating. So, I, so yes, I'm brand new to Facebook ads and I, I want to get the most bang for my buck. Just make sure that my copy makes as much impact as possible. So if you have any tips or tricks you can give me, I, I would love to hear those. Awesome. All right. So there's a couple main things that I would do um, and keep this in mind for everything you do. This is so relevant for anybody who's running ads. Um, so the first thing that I would do is I see your ad starts out with, I dreamed of being a professional writer. I would 100% um, make something that's more impactful. Talk about something that if you're talking about your personal experience where you were in your low moment, I want you to talk about that more specifically. Take people to that moment, that present moment where you are in pain, where you are, in your case, frustrated that you haven't written a book or a screenplay. So I want something that's more, um, nothing that's talking about past tense. Past tense verbs are not useful. Present. Mm -hmm. So say something like, I'm, I'm mad at myself. I have been sitting here and for 10 years I did not write my screenplay. Okay, so, so taking people right to that pain, more active, um, the present moment of pain uh, is much more enticing than talking about what happened in the past. Mm. Um, and then you can lead into the rest of the stuff. Um, so uh, as far as copy goes, looking at the text here, um, the problem is whenever you write a lot, um, it, it can kind of look like a wall of text and people are lazy. Um, I do the same thing. If I see something like this, like a really long email you get from a friend, um, it, it takes some time to digest. So you have to take a step back and you'll deter a lot of people. So what I recommend is, um, writing no more than three lines, uh, before doing another break in space. So just, so every three lines you write, just, just enter it down. So at least there's a little more breathing room so the eye doesn't look like it has so much to consume at once. So here's the logic. Um, assume that when somebody comes in, they start reading your ad. So by the time they finish reading the text at the top, they'll have context to what it is you're talking about. So when they look down at the bottom, they yeah. see this learn more button at the bottom and they see that headline. You need to have that final, here's what you're doing. Here's why you're going to click on that learn more because you're going to get X as the end result. Right. right. So being more specific, live your professional writing dream now is, is, is a good start, but it's too high level. It doesn't connect people to their real problem mm -hmm. as a real solution. Um, is if they didn't tie it back into a testimonial of someone saying, Hey, I just made $300,000 last year. You know, if they don't tie it into, um, and here's how you can get it through this program, this process is what got me there. So it's, it's creating something more tangible. It's giving people, a reason to click that learn more. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's more specific to here's what you get when you click learn more. It's kind of setting the expectation. Okay, gotcha, uh, gotcha. Um, so, so really, uh, instead of uh, zooming out as much as I have with, with uh, kind of tighten it up and, and get a little more specific with okay, and this is what this is this is what you're going to get. This is the outcome. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then what I would say for the, the headlines, um, it's been tested many, many times. Um, an average of five words perform the best um, for Facebook headlines. Um, so, uh, you know, they have between three and seven or eight words, but five is kind of like the sweet spot. So, you know, you don't have to stick to that exclusively or, or so, be so structured about it, but on average, that's a good range to stick within. And, and then uh, actually on, on top of that, yeah. so, um, one thing I would do is um, people actually like the word free. Um, you know, this is something that um, free is so cliche, um, but as they say, it's cliche for a reason. Uh -huh. And the thing is, it doesn't, uh, don't overuse the word free, um, but free is not bad if you have a good context, context around free. Mm -hmm. so, for example, if you are, um, you know, a, a Tony Robbins, or if you're, let's say LeBron James or Mark Cuban, and they want to give you 
um, a book that they wrote that tells you how to become an NBA star. Um, but it, it's free. Uh -huh. You know, you don't question it if it's coming directly from them because there's, there's a lot of credibility there. Um, but the, the problem is people make it sound really cheesy when they say, get this free, free thing, free, free, free. And they don't give any tangible reason why there's value in that free thing. Right. So if you can, if you can ground that in some credibility in terms of uh, the results that you'll get out of it, uh -huh. then free is good. Does that uh -huh. make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That does make a lot of sense. And, right. and I, I know you're testing a lot of different things, yeah. here too, but uh, one more final thing that I'd say is, sure. Um, you know, just take what you have, make those few tweaks, uh, but just get it out there. Publish it to Facebook. Um, you know, there's, there's never going to be the perfect copy, the perfect text or the perfect images. Uh, it, it's better just to get out there and test and see what happens. You know, mm -hmm. run a couple different images, um, run a couple different variations of what you say. Um, I, I've seen so many times over the years, I've been advertising for nine years now, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's amazing how sometimes your assumptions are completely wrong. So uh, just, just get out there and, and, and publish it, um, you know, spend some money on it and find out what exactly people really want, what they care about. I'm that person who just wants to get it exactly right and, and, and I don't end up getting anywhere. So I really appreciate that reminder. And I'm hoping that I'm gonna have lots of success to share with you and I'd love to come back and maybe get some tips from you on how to analyze my data at some point, what I should be looking for in these tests, if that would be okay. That would be great. I'd be more than glad to help out. Oh my gosh, thank you. I can't thank you enough. You really have, uh, have made all of this seem possible and doable. So, so I really appreciate your time. Thank you.